Hey guys, it's Bren and I'm here with my Bath and Body Works June 2018 semi-annual sale haul. Thanks for waiting for a couple of days. I know it took me a while to get this up. I was at Newfound Glory concerts in Chicago on Monday and Tuesday, so otherwise occupied. But um, now I'm home, I'm here, I wanna show you what I got. I stopped at Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg on my way to Chicago on Monday and got most of the stuff, but I also made a little trip today to my local store to check it out and found a little bit more. So. I'll show you everything. Um, what I don't have is um, that collection with Barry Waffle Cone because I guess that's not coming out yet. I hope that it's not just a test collection and it's actually going to come out a little later in the sale or even in July after the sale um, because I definitely want to pick up some Barry Waffle Cone, like four or five more at least. It's one of my favorite scents. And then in that collection, we also have a cherry one, which I probably won't be that crazy about Cherry Snow Cone because I'm not generally into their cherry scents. I do love Sweet Cherry Pie and Black Cherry Merlot, but the Cherry Lime Sickle, Cherry Blossom Sangria, those candles, I just can't do it. It reminds me of cough syrup. So I don't think I'll like Cherry Snow Cone. Uh, Orange Dream Sickle, which was originally in the Times New Roman collection, I never got that when it came out in that collection. Maybe I'll try it this time, I don't know, but mainly I'm excited about Berry Waffle Cone. Also, haven't seen yet the Pink Lemonade Pound Cake. So, Pink Lemonade Pound Cake originally came out in the Sweet Shop collection, and when they brought back that entire collection this past winter for SAS, they didn't bring back Pink Lemonade Pound Cake. But I guess maybe they heard our cries because now they have brought it back. At least it's testing in test stores, but it's a quotable and it says happy birthday on it, but whatever, I don't care. I want some of that because that was a great scent, even though it was a very light the first time around. We'll see if it still is, but it smells so good. So I'm on the lookout for those. Hopefully they'll go nationwide soon. If not for me personally, I'll probably pick some up in July when I hit the test stores for fall test candles if they still have them, but it would be nice if they would just come out nationwide. But I did still get some stuff. So I want to start by actually showing you a couple of things that I did not get at SAS, but I picked these up on Mercari. So I threw up some things on Mercari not that long ago, just, you know, selling some stuff that I realized I didn't like anymore as much as I thought, or I wasn't gonna be able to use it up before it went bad or whatever. And then instead of cashing out that money, it just stays in my Mercari and I use it to buy some other stuff. So Things that I wish I'd bought more of when they were around. I bought a peach meringue. Love this one. It'll probably never come back. It was a tweak of like Georgia peach, but it has a little vanilla in there. So good. Got a decent price on that one. Was happy with that Mercari purchase. But then um, also I bought and I spent with shipping, I spent probably like $28 on this. I bought a sweet cherry pie because I was like sick of waiting for it to come back and I only had one and a half in a mason jar and I love this set. I love it so, so, so much. And then, yeah, you know, so I was like, okay, you know, it, it's not testing. It doesn't seem like it's going to come out this year. I can't believe they're not bringing it back, but I guess I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll buy one online and pay way too much for it. Did that. And then what do they do? At this SAS, they decide to bring this black. So today, I saw this on Instagram first. I didn't see it at Woodfield on Monday on the first day of the sale. Today at my local store, I saw this collection, which I had seen other people um, are seeing this on Instagram and they're seeing it at their stores, that's what I mean. Um, but they have brought back this whole collection plain lids this time, but these are new. They have a 2018 recent pour date, so they're not like leftovers from before. And I know because I looked for more Sweet Cherry Pie back when this collection was originally out and it sold out really quick, which is why I was like, I can't believe they're not bringing it back. Um, but no, they have brought back this whole collection, everything that was in it now, re-poured for SAS. I wasn't expecting to find it. It's, I, I mean, it's got to be everywhere because my store by me locally is like a very regular store. If they have something, everyone should have it. But um, I saw these today. They are only at the $22.50 price point, 50% off. So I just got four um, and used a 10 off 40 on that. So I was happy to find it because it's so good. I love it so much. It's definitely in my top 10. It's probably at least in my top six or seven, maybe top five. I don't know. I have to think about it, but mm, I love it. And I was, so I was happy that they brought it back, but mad that I bought this one for so much just a few weeks ago. Arr, that's what I get for not being more patient. But anyway, four sweet cherry pies today. On Monday, most of what I got well, candle-wise, all of what I got was from the new uh, drink collection here. So 
There were some other random things at that store. There was a blueberry sugar that I had in and out of my basket. And in the end, the reason that I didn't get it is that it didn't work out with the coupon combinations that I was trying to do. I was trying to do sets of, you know, $40 to use on um, with the 10 off coupon. And that blueberry sugar just didn't fit into my plan, so I left it because I have three and a half of those. Uh, now I'm like, man, I probably should have gotten it, you know. But anyway, I didn't. I, I had to be really quick on Monday, so it was like I had to hurry up and make a decision. I will talk a little bit at the end of the video about uh, doing multiple transactions and the coupons and all of that. So we'll get to that. But on to the haul. Got three banana split milkshakes. All right, I got three of these because everyone is saying it's so great. So let's hope that people are being honest or that I think it's great. Does smell good on cold, very banana-y, but I'm skeptical, I guess, because, you know, banana nutmeg bread pudding, which was repackaged as banana pumpkin muffin, also smelled really banana-y on cold, but did not really smell like banana when burning. On the other hand, the coconut colada candle, which has, uh, banana in it from the beginning of this year does smell like banana so they can do banana people are saying this does smell like banana burning so we'll see i'm going to do post burn reviews on these for you guys so stay tuned subscribe for all of those you you do get it's not like really chocolatey but there is something in there that is sweet and dessert like almost like chocolate syrup or ice cream or maybe even caramel drizzle what do they say is in it sweet banana chocolate sauce cherry on top uh but yeah it's not just straightforward banana I understand where they're coming from with the whole banana split thing but it's mostly just banana I'm excited curious to see what this smells like burning so there were three of those and then I also got three summertime soda pop I remember when summertime soda was out before I don't know if I ever smelled it or bought it or was that interested in it. Generally speaking, citrus scents really hit or miss with Bath & Body Works for me because a lot of them can be too light and they can do the kerosene thing. This is different though. Lime, lemon, and splash of soda and it smells to me, it's funny they say lime and lemon, but they colored orange and it certainly smells like orange soda orange pop as we say here in the Midwest and yes I mean it smells like orange crush orange sunkissed there's something about it that does have that effervescence that zinginess but you know what honestly it smells exactly like if you've ever had an orange crush or they used to have just orange pop lip smacker back in the day the Bonnie Bell lip smackers they still have them I don't know if they still have the orange pop flavor or the orange I think then at some point they actually like branded it orange crush but an orange crush lip smacker that's exactly what this smells like I though would be skeptical of this I would smell it on cold and be like yeah, it smells really good and strong and cold, but the type of scent that it is, knowing Bath & Body Works, I'm expecting this to not actually smell that strong when it's burning, but people say that it is doing well, so we'll see. I got three. Uh, if in either case, with either of those two candles, they end up not working out for me or I feel like I don't really need three, I'll probably be doing some exchanges. I almost picked up an extra pineapple crumb cake today. That's one, if you love it, I would advise you to stock up. I have three right now, like full ones, and a little bit more at the end of another. I'm thinking about getting more, because I feel like that's going to be one that's probably never going to come back, but it's really good. My store still had a few, but if I end up getting rid of any of these, I'm going to exchange for that. Um, so, root beer float. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this. Some people are really excited about it and think it's great. It just, it says it's got vanilla, ice cream, all that stuff. No. This just smells like root beer. Straight up. They nailed it. They nailed the scent of root beer. Exactly. I mean, to a T. I just don't know if I want my house to smell like root beer. I kind of like root beer sometimes to drink. I'm not like fanatical about it. Every once in a while it's okay. Um, the brewery up the street from my house makes their own root beer. It's really good. But I never want more than one, and I just, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. But I got one to try for curiosity's sake and probably for review's sake. But I just, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. We'll see. By the way, the dog's chewing a rawhide right in front of me. If you hear a little 
munching, crunching sound <laughs> in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it, so I'm not gonna make her stop because she's like really into it. And since I was gone the past couple days, she wants to be right next to me. Um, although she had a really good time at her aunt's house, but uh, sorry if you can hear that. Okay, then a coconut water. I only got one of these. This was interesting. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, I have a coconut vanilla like right up here. Uh, oh, reaching. Oh yeah. Okay. That was very convenient. Um, ooh, that's dusty. Uh, it was on a pedestal on the top of this desk here. Uh, you know, it's funny. Coconut water. I remember this scent from 2012. 2012, I was not that into Bath Body Works candles. I was like a, a, a normal girl. Like, I feel like any average girl or woman in America and probably Canada at some point has had a Bath Body Works candle. Um, and you know, I was like that. Every once in a while I got some, every once in a while I shopped there. And uh, I remember going in and getting a couple fall candles in 2012 and my boyfriend at the time was with me and he got a coconut water on clearance at the end of summer, and he burnt it all the time. And I remember it smelled really good. I wasn't that into coconut scents, but it was great. And then I went and I smelled this Monday, and I was like, I mean, it's still good, but it's not like as good as I remember it. But I think it's probably the same. I think it's just back then, I wasn't like, like, there was a unique thing for me, like all Bath and Body Works candles didn't kind of smell the same. I wasn't like so well versed in it and it was a good scent for a regular person. <laughs> Whereas now I'm, you know, I'm so, oh, we got alarm going on. Now I'm so like, you know, I, I know their scent so well and I can pair them all in my head and everything. It just doesn't feel that special to me anymore, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's a basic Bath and Body Works coconut scent. I remembered it being so unique and good. I gotta smell these two side by side. So this is coconut vanilla. No, it's different. It's kind of a similar coconut though. It doesn't have the vanilla note. It doesn't have that sandalwood note. But the coconut water, it says it has vanilla and pineapple. It's a very creamy, smooth coconut. It's good. It's like, it's a good coconut scent if you like coconut. I just don't know that we needed more coconut. I'm glad to have one for collector's sake, I guess, uh, because it does hold some nostalgia for me, even though it doesn't smell as good as I remember it smelling. And that's why I just was like, okay, I'm just going to get one. I don't know if I'll burn it or if I'll just keep it on the shelf. If I do burn it, I'll do a post-burn review, but I'm not totally sure that I'm going to burn it. If you just are looking for like a pretty straightforward coconut candle though, there's nothing wrong with this. It's so similar to so many other coconut scents that they've done though and so many different tropical scents. It almost kind of smells like the same coconut that's in mango coconut or guava pina colada, but but like without all the other stuff, just, just, just a coconut. Okay, enough about that one. It's boring. Uh, so those were the candles. Four cherry pies, three banana milkshakes, three summertime sodas, one coconut water, and one root beer that I might exchange. Um, and that was that. And then a little bit of body care. So this collection here came out just for SAS. And the strawberry scent is the same as the strawberry bourbon, which was repackaged as confetti something or else over the winter. They've done that one several times. And the vanilla scent, interestingly enough, is just Beach Night Summer Marshmallow repackaged if you need more of that. Um, but then they came out with this blackberry and basil. When I smelled it in the store, I got really excited because it reminds me of one of my all-time favorite body care scents from them, Berry Vanilla. And just out of the bottle, it smells a lot like that, but there's something else that ruins it. I almost feel like it's the same kind of berry as is used in berry vanilla, but they put all this other crap in there. Pink pomelo, sweet basil. I don't mind the pomelo. It gives it a little zing, but sweet basil, jasmine petals, jasmine. Get, get your flowers out of my fruits. I hate that. I miss the days of more straightforward scents. You know, berry vanilla was just berry and vanilla and it was good it was delicious you know and now they're putting flowers and everything and uh 
everything starts to smell the same because every scent that they put out has seven different things in it. So it all they all just smell like you took every lotion they have and just stirred them up. And when I put this on, so I thought I liked it enough in the store to get three things. I got one lotion, one shower gel. No, <laughs> one lotion, one cream, and one shower gel. But then when I actually put it on and I got out of there and my sniffer reset um, and I used it, I was like, it's not bad, but it smells, it, it just, it's too, it's the floral being in there. It's muddling it, kind of messing it up, making it smell a little musky, a little perfumey. I don't want that. I would have really rather just had blackberry, you know, put some pomelo in there. Basil, I don't really smell anything herbal about it at all, but I don't know. So it's like, it's okay. I don't know if I love it. Thing is, with these, I guarantee if you wait until the end of SAS, they'll go 75% off. They were only 50% off at the beginning. So if you're kind of on the fence, just wait. You could probably get them for 75% off. But I'll use them and see. Shower gels are usually my favorite thing from Bath Mighty Works because I feel like the scents are a little more clean and straightforward and less musky in a lot of cases. And the shower gel smells a lot more crisp. It just smells more like blackberry with maybe a little bit of the pomelo and you don't get the floral, and that's why I like this. So I didn't really need any more shower gel, but I got those. We'll see, we'll see, I don't know, it's okay. Uh, and then I just grabbed a soap, margarita time. Island Margarita is always great in everything, and I like the soap, so there you go. And then there were a couple of other soaps that I got for my mom, if you're wondering how I put it all together. Uh, and then Atwood, so today, with the Sweet Cherry Pie, I just used a 10 off 40. And even though I had used a 10 off 40 from the app, before um, there were, it was there still again today to use again uh, but on Monday I was standing there looking at all my candles trying to decide what I was gonna get and what it wasn't and also kind of grouping things into groups of 40 to use the 10 off 40 coupons and I had three paper coupons two were throwbacks one had come to my dad in the mail so I took that one because he wasn't gonna use it obviously but I did not get a mailer coupon. You know, I never get them anymore at all. I feel like if you shop there a lot, you don't get the coupons in the mail anymore. And if you have the app, you don't get the coupons in the mail anymore. And it's fine. I guess I didn't really need it because I had them in email and in the app and everything. But sometimes those mailer coupons have like little freebies attached and stuff. I'm not getting those anymore at all. Whatever. Um, but anyway, I went in with paper coupons, didn't need them. And as I was sorting, one of the sales associates came up and I told her what I was doing. And she's like, oh yeah, we'll totally do multiple transactions for you. No problem. So, I mean, they weren't just letting you do multiple transactions. They were like pushing it or like selling it as a selling point. And when I went up in there uh, to check out, it was no problem. I was like, I have three different coupons and I would like to check out three you know, sets of 40 and they're like, okay, no problem. They, I wouldn't even mind if they made you go back to the end of the line again every time. Cause I do see how that holds up the line to do multiple transactions. I wouldn't even complain about that, but they don't, they didn't at the store at all. And then on Instagram, some people were saying that their stores don't let them do multiple transactions anymore. Like Tebow fan, a one five was saying his store told him one coupon per person per day. And I was, and some people were commenting saying it's up to the store manager. I don't know why they would limit you like that. I mean, I know that I wouldn't buy the stuff regardless. I'd be like, fine, I guess I'll come back tomorrow. But then the chances I actually came back the next day, slim, right? Once a customer leaves the store, you lose a big you know, chance that they're actually going to come back, right? So I don't know why they would do that, but I had no problem with multiple transactions. And I used two from two different emails, which I probably honestly could have just handed her back the same coupon. She wasn't checking, but I used two from two different emails, plus the one in the app. And then the one in the app was still there today, and that was how I got it all done. So anyway, if you're curious. And I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So, oh, say hi. Say hi. Oh, oh that's it. Hi, baby. Okay, well, we tried. Um, oh, hey, they can just see your tail. Oh, no, they can't see you at all. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so that's it. 
Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because of the dog. She's like smelling me and stuff. Like I said, I will have post burn reviews of the drink collection and I hope to be getting my hands on the berry waffle cone and the pink lemonade pound cake down the line. And I will be doing fall test candles, I think this year. So a lot coming up. So subscribe if you haven't. You can also follow me on Instagram at candles and music. And I will say that it might be a while before I get back with these post burn reviews because next week I have a ton going on. I will not be able to film at all next week week. So um, it might be after that. I apologize. I'm just like, it's just uh, stuff is happening. So um, eventually I will get them up though. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you guys again. Bye.